Hi guys and welcome to Simply Scuba. So in previous videos we've looked at how to choose the right wetsuit and in another video we also looked at the features to look out for in a snorkeling wetsuit. But in this video we're going to be looking at five of our favourite snorkeling wetsuits. Okay so to start off with we have the waterproof WP skin. So this is a rash vest but it's a full body rash vest. So this is great because it's going to protect you from head to toe, it's going to protect you from the sun, it's going to protect you from a lot of marine bumps, scrapes and stings as well. So because it's rash vest material, uh, it's very flexible and it's nice and comfortable. It's very easy to get on and take off. Um, it can be worn underneath your wetsuit so you, you don't have to wear it just in those kind of warmer waters. You can wear it under your existing wetsuit. Makes it a lot easier to put it on and take it off. It also adds a little bit of thermal capacity as well by sort of bulking it out. Uh, so a really nice kind of rash vest but of course you can buy just separate rash vests and the shorts as well but because this is a full body rash vest it just protects you you know you're covered um, and because it's that kind of lycra spandex type material it means it's nice and hydrodynamic it's, it kind of sticks to your body and uh, you can just glide through the water really effectively Moving up through that, when the water gets a little bit colder, you can get a one mil version of it. This is the waterproof Neo skin. Um, so very similar in design, except uh, instead of just rash vest material, this is all one millimeter of neoprene. So where you don't need too much warmth to keep you warm, um, you still have the flexibility but you do have a little bit of thermal capacity just to keep you that little bit warmer when the water starts to get a bit cooler. You're protected from the sun, you're protected from bumps and scrapes and stings, um, but you still have that flexibility. You don't have the bulk of a, uh, of a thicker wetsuit. Okay, then moving up through the thickness, um, we're gonna move up to a two and a half mil shorty. Uh, this is the fourth element Xenos shorty. So shorties are great in warmer waters where you don't need too much thermal protection, uh, but you do need some over the core. So this is keeping your core body organs, your torso nice and warm, but you still have the flexibility of a thin suit and uh, they're much easier to put on and take off because you don't have the sleeves as well. Um, and also they dry out that much faster between between, the, um, between when you're jumping in the water. Lots of little features all over this, make it a nice comfortable suit. Uh, they made the Xenos easy to put on and take off instead of its uh, sort of older brother, the Proteus. Okay, then we're gonna move up to a neoprene alternative. This is fourth element thermocline. So Thermocline is a three-layered neoprene alternative. It's neutrally buoyant, which means you're not gonna be quite so floaty on the surface, uh, but this equates to about a two or a three mil neoprene. It's nice and flexible still, so very comfortable. It's very easy to get on and get off, but this is really made for surface water sports. So even when you're wet, it's gonna keep you nice and warm. Even if you're uh, sort of wet from head to toe and you can then uh, sort of get out, even if it's windy, that mid layer is gonna pretend uh, and stop the wind from just cutting through. Comes in lots of different uh, configurations. This is the spring suit. So you have long sleeves to protect your arms. That's protecting you from the sun, uh, but you've got short legs on that. Uh, so that's much more comfortable and that much easier to get on. So it's kind of halfway between a shorty and a full length suit. Okay, and finally, we're looking at the Mares Flexa 322. So three mil of neoprene, so this is our thickest wetsuit on show, um, but in sections, we have thinner materials. You've got two mil over the arms and over the legs. So you get the flexibility of a two mil suit, but you get the warmth over your core of a three mil suit. This is front entry as well, makes it really super easy to get in all by yourself. Uh, even if you're uh, not too flexible, you can just do it up and, uh, and get in it um, from the front and you have that optional extra of adding pockets and storage options uh, so it's that great suit that can kind of grow up with you you can add and customize so it makes it a really practical suit okay guys so there were five of our favorite snorkeling wetsuits right now and they're all available at our website simplyscuba.com but let us know in the comments below what your favorite wetsuit is and why thanks for watching and safe diving we are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.